Hello, I'm Dr. Marvin McGowan. I'm a healthcare provider at Central Outreach Wellness Center located on the North Shore of Pittsburgh. Central Outreach provides healthcare services for every community in Western Pennsylvania in a non judgmental and culturally confident environment. These services include STI, HIV, and hepatitis screening and treatment, gender transition hormonal therapy, mental health evaluation, therapy and treatment, drug addiction and alcohol treatment, and LGBTQIA primary care services. In the meantime, we recommend healthy lifestyle choices, which include appropriate meal planning based upon your nutritional and medical needs, routine exercise, proper sleep, stress reduction, and good relationships. We also recommend safe sex practices and avoiding the use of alcoholic beverages, illicit drugs, and vaping with nicotine and tobacco products. Check out our website for a clinic near you and clinic hours. You can be reached at 412-515-0000. Thank you for hearing our message and have a great day. And we also cure hepatitis C. You can't mention Marsha P. Johnson without mentioning Sylvia Rivera. Marsha and Sylvia were always kind of icons of the Stonewall actions. And influential in organizing the anniversary marches for queer liberation, gay liberation as they called it at the time. By the 70s, Sylvia wasn't allowed to speak at Pride, but there's some incredible footage of her doing so, regardless of the fact uh, that she wasn't invited. But Marsha and Sylvia together formed Star, and Star was street transvestite action revolutionaries. And through that, uh, it was a reflection of ballroom culture, mothers, houses, um, and it was housing and food, um, home spaces for LGBT youth in New York in the 70s and the 80s. I think without what those two women did, because there's so much happening in those times, but when you really focus into their lives, it really tells the tale of all of us in so many ways. And we also cure hepatitis C. I always knew that there was like care available, but I never like knew it was accessible for people my age. I had a really good experience myself and every single patient that I brought here was treated the same. And it was just like a breath of fresh air as soon as I walked through the door. Hello, my name is Mona. I work at Central Outreach, and um, I am admin. I work front desk, back desk. Start over the whole thing. Okay. Mm. <laughs> my name is Central Mona. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm nervous. My name is Mona. I work at Central Outreach. I work the front and the back desk. I've been working here for about two and a half years now. I want people to know about trans women that we're just like any other woman. I don't really think about being trans. I just think about living. And I guess that we, all, we only just want the same treatment as any other woman or any other human for that matter. <laughs> so the services that support trans girls here at Central Outreach, we have laser hair removal, we have HRT, we have um, 
doctor referrals for top and bottom surgery. So pretty much your whole transition you can get right here at Central Isle Beach. So if you want to start HRT, you should come on down first off and then see what it, meet with a doctor. You get the ball rolling. Usually I think they start you on blockers first. So that lowers your testosterone and then they start you on estradiol, which makes you emotional AF and then the process is starting and then whatever you want to do you don't have to have top surgery you don't have to, uh, to have bottom surgery because you see the woman you want to be not what everybody else sees so as long as you achieve the woman that you believe you are i don't think that you know no one can define what you are as a woman or who you are as a woman Yeah, don't do drugs. It's not even worth it. You have so much life to live. Like, that is such a hindrance to your goals and things that you want to achieve in life. Just be brazen. Like, balls to the wall. Like, you can't let anyone stand in your way of what you want to achieve. No one defines who you are. No one can tell you what to think or how to think it. Just be the best you you can be. Hi, my name is Brandon Dudek. I'm a medical case manager here at Central Outreach Wellness Center. Today I'm here to talk to you about sexual health and safer sex. A lot of people say, oh, it doesn't fit. I'm trying to show off. You see how this is the wrong way? And this is the right way. You just unroll it one, one little roll. This is a common demo that we use to show how strong and durable condoms are. The reason safer sex is important is to prevent things like STIs, sexually transmitted infections, pregnancy. That was it, wasn't it? There are a few different kinds of STIs. There's gonorrhea, chlamydia, HIV, syphilis. Hep C doesn't count. Should I say trick? And we also cure hepatitis C. They literally fit on any size. I told him to get a smaller eggplant. I guess this was the smallest one. All right, ta-da. This is lube. Comes in bottles, comes in little packets, and mostly bottles, sometimes little tubs. All kinds of lube. We wanna make sure it's silicone or water-based because those are the things that will not dissolve your condom. There's two types of intercourse. There's vaginal, penile sex, and there's anal intercourse. Anal sex can cause skin tearing and things called microabrasions or microcuts. And this is an STI's favorite way of entry. It's definitely a higher risk for STIs. Ugh, I got lube everywhere. Can we get rid of this table? Let's talk about PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis. PrEP comes from the history of HIV medications. It's been used safely for decades. Its recent application as pre-exposure prophylaxis has been in the last, I think, five years or so, which is one of the many applications of these medicines that we have. PrEP is a pill that can be taken every day that reduces your risk by 99% of seroconversion, of getting HIV, of uh, transmitting the disease that leads to AIDS. Another application of these medicines is PET. If you've had a sexual encounter where you believe you may have been exposed to HIV or you're unsure or you're just afraid, you can take a cycle of these medications for a month that will greatly reduce your risk of seroconversion. I came out in the world in between the AIDS crisis, medication, and PrEP. So I remember some of my friends as like the original Truvada whores. Fighting the initial stigma, which was kind of similar to old school stigma about birth control, which was there was this idea where like, oh, you get this medicine, you're gonna go get your money's worth. Uh, you know, don't become the town pump. But why not? Better living through chemicals, quite literally, because I remember when we didn't have it. And it's also something that I can use to reduce shame. There's a factor 
in which in my life, I mean, you play the numbers and the people that I match with, the people that I'm gonna date, the likelihood of them being HIV positive is a lot higher than the average person. So taking PrEP for me is kind of anticipatory sometimes in the sense of, you know, already caring for those in my community. It reduces the stigma of having sex with people who are HIV positive because there's absolutely no reason why those people are not as equal and deserving of anyone's genuine affection. I dated a guy who got me on prep, was one of those things, because I was kind of on the fence about it. There was also like, where do we get it? You know, uh, how do you prescribe this? Um, and my lover at the time introduced me to Central Outreach because he came here for his prep. And I uh, remember making love to that person. It was the first time I was ever able to have sex and not be afraid of HIV. My tiny child gay closeted experience, it was still a death sentence. And I can't, I mean, I can be cognizant of it, but I still can't unwrite that from my mind. So finding that little form of liberation, that little bit of agency that it gave me, just in feeling in control of my own fate, <laughs> quite literally, to be free from the fear that my love might kill me, which is a dated concept, but it's also part of the stigma. Um, it's part of the shame that we culturally work with. Well, in all communities, HIV is not a gay disease. It's a blood-borne pathogen. And so anything that we can do to reduce stigma, reduce transmission, to educate, from a scientific point of view, it's simply something that affects humans. Um, and it's really interesting them to see what humans make of it. <laughs> what a mess we've made of HIV. The application now with 211, if you're a person that can plan when you are going to engage in risky or sexual behavior, then you can take this medicine for the period that you're doing it, you know? I actually remember, it was about four years ago, so this would have put it in like 2016, I went to Paris and Berlin, and I had just gotten on prep. And when I went to Paris, they were kind of at the same place in France where we were with it. Treatment as prevention. But then when I got to Germany, it was a completely different story. And it was just really interesting how the different cultures viewed this medication. But then again, it's also interesting to see how these different cultures and governments handled HIV. But when I was there, I was on PrEP and I uh, met some guys from Mexico who were using PrEP as uh, 211 just for their vacation. Those boys were having a blast. <laughs> 211 is you take two pills 24 hours before your exposure, and then you take one pill every 24 hours for two days after your exposure. So this can be a 2-1-1 if it's just one off, or you know, you keep taking the one for as long as you're kind of, as long as you've got that umbrella open. These are just different things, that, it's a, different options, different effective ways to use the medication. I don't do 2 one, one because I think I would <laughs> um, Probably don't want to put that in the video. I wouldn't want to mess it up. And also we have to remember that PrEP only guards against HIV. We still need to take measures to protect ourselves in other ways. The baseline is always communication with your partners, no matter who they are. That is a part of sex positivity. And it's a fun part of having sex with people is talking about who you are and what you do. The generalized culture is getting a spoonful of this now with COVID, but queer people have been mitigating our risks for decades. It's something that can be fun and can be playful and can kind of be foreplay. But then also, you know, there's still prophylaxis, there's condoms, there's dental dams, there's all kinds of latex. Well, it's also all about consent. You know, um, what is your comfortable level of consent? Nothing sexier than consent. Yeah, well, I did actually lose my hair to the solstice. I kind of had to leave everything dead in the portal to get through it. Undetectable equals untransmittable. I mean, this is a deep cut, but before prep, 
the joke was the safest person to have unprotected sex with was a HIV positive person who was undetectable. That was the only way you actually knew. But yeah, undetectable equals untransmittable. And that's something you can bet on. To be at that point in history, I'm very, very proud to work in this field. My name is Peter Clay. I am a medical assistant at Central Outreach's North Shore location. I have worked here for about three years. I worked in the lab for a little while, handled all the blood and pee. Then I became a medical assistant on the floor about a year ago. It's tough work, but it's so gratifying. For me, it's really, in a very real way, being able to be the person that wasn't there for me. Unfortunately, PrEP wasn't around when I became HIV positive 16 years ago. Living with HIV is no longer dying from HIV. With the proper medication and taking care of yourself, you can live until old age. It's a lot like diabetes, just a simple medication that you take once a day, and it can prevent dying from AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. HIV is a virus that's the human immunodeficiency virus. And this virus, once it enters your body, takes hold of your immune system and it uses your immune cells against you. What it does is it injects its genetic information into your cells and it uses your own cells to replicate itself, just like any other virus. Not all superheroes wear capes. Some of us wear scrubs. Walk in for a free STI screen. We also cure hepatitis C. No insurance? We have case managers for that. We live in an era where women really get to choose how they want to live their lives and are able to protect themselves. Before condoms and birth control were prevalent, women would often get pregnant without even trying. Another thing I would like to urge you to think about for the young women out there, you shouldn't expect the man to have a condom. You should always carry your own. Birth control is in your power. Protecting yourself isn't somebody else's job. Nobody cares about you as much as you do. Oftentimes, men will use that as an excuse not to use condoms. So protect yourself. Most people who have STIs or HIV don't know their status. One in roughly four people do not know that they're HIV positive. So taking somebody's word for it is never acceptable. I always like to say, if you got into a car and someone told you not to put on a seatbelt because they're a good drunk driver, Whose responsibility is it to put that seatbelt on? We at Central Outreach Wellness Center firmly believe in harm reduction. Harm reduction means if you do something that may be harmful or risky, you do it in the safest way possible. So what that brings us to is regular testing. We should take it upon ourselves to get tested at least every six months or to a year, depending on your sexual activity. Central Outreach provides everyone in our communities free STI testing at our four clinics and more coming soon. We have clinics in Aliquippa, Washington, here in the North Shore in Pittsburgh, and our newest location in Erie. Oh, are we done? I guess, I guess we're done. It was very nice speaking with all of you. You know I went to school in Center Township, right? It used to be called Center High School, and now it's Central Valley. They mixed with Manaka and Center. We used to be rivals, but now we're one school. You know, I came out when I was 15 in Beaver County. 15, it, was, oh it was really rough. I'm sure it's not that much better, but things have changed. Oh, I never did the... I forgot to do the... HPV. Now do the HPV. Let's talk about HPV. Not all doctors are created equal, and at Central Outreach, we wouldn't have it any other way. Our compassionate, highly trained staff will ensure that your needs are met. If you're looking for PrEP, a cure for Hep C, or simply the finest medical care around, check us out online at centraloutreach.com.
Just reach out to Central Outreach.